Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and as promised I'm coming back to show you the process for the transfers. So um, last episode we did the last game for the second season, we're now playing in the Van Ramen National League and we finished in 14th, we are going to stay in this league obviously um, and I promised I was going to show you how we do transfers. So first of all I need to explain, explain a little bit what you see on the screen. So to the left of the game, you can see I have a list of players. And next to each player, I have a number in brackets. That number is related to how I look for the players. So, a bunch of players have left either because their loan is expired, they have retired or their contract, um, they've decided to leave after their contract ended. Also, there's been, I think, one player that left because they wanted to be transferred, um, one of our strikers. So, let's have a quick look at the players that have left. So, Herson Alves has left because I just thought, actually, he's a different case altogether. I just thought we weren't gonna use him this season. He's not very good. If you look at three transfers, or release players. Um, so these are all the release players that have gone because they decided not to carry on with us after the end of their contract. Also they've got some retired players which I don't think they show up in here. And we should be able to see Liam Lawrence but I, I can't see him. Anyway, so we've lost a few players for several reasons. I'm working at the same time, simultaneously I'm working with uh, renewing our um, staff but in the meantime what I really want to show you is how I do um, transfer so first of all let me just empty this list here I don't like having players on that list right so the way that this happens is I've made a filter for each each of the positions that I use there's actually one of the filters that I don't use anymore but I'll explain that in a minute so each filter has essential attributes mapped against it and I rate the player based on when they disappear off my list so if they are a Hereford player for example here we have um, Russ um, Griffiths he's a goalkeeper and I'm mapping him against his goalkeeping attributes that I've laid out and he his lowest attribute uh, of those is uh, rated at a 9 so I'm rating him as a 9 player that's why you see a 9 by his name now let me just go back and see after that what is the so got some youth players rated at 6 I reckon that's too low to be part of the team so if I go back to Russ and I increase that to 10 okay so I've got Joe Young now one thing I haven't done yet is set the scouting range and I always go for world even though that's a bit expensive but I do that. So I've got Joe Young um, and he's actually better than Russ so Russ can be still be in the squad because he's a 9 uh, but we're gonna put in a, a offer for Joe Young. Let's get some context here, he's from Wolves, he's played to Dartford in the Van Rama South Seems like he hasn't had first team football for a couple of seasons. So I'm sure he'll be grateful to have a contract. So we're going to try and promise below what they ask. We're going to... I like to remove all the clauses as well. I'm going to suggest it just like that and then work my way down so I usually try to look for clauses that are performance related um, in this case I'm gonna leave this one just because he asked for it and now I'm gonna go for clean sheets and most of the time you can remove the majority of clauses that they ask uh, I definitely never agree for yearly um, pay rises so if we avoid relegation, he gets a bonus, and he's happy with that. See, so it's much easier that way, much cheaper that way. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say I'm going to get a new goalkeeper. His name is Joe Young. 
and he's rated at 10. Okay, now we do the same for all the other positions. Now I'm gonna, um, I never save it because obviously I make changes to stuff, so. Carry on down the list of positions now. So we have um, Zen Habit, he's still a 10. And the youth players are too far behind, so I'm gonna again do the same, go one above, see what happens. Got no one. So I've got one player here, uh, Josh Davidson, he's the youngest one and he's a contract free at the moment. He used to play for Liverpool, so we're gonna approach him on a contract. I'm gonna give him a regular starter promise. And we're gonna do the same. Also, I should say that when I finish, then I go back and look at all the players that are staying. And if any of them need contract renewals, then I do that. So again, I'm gonna leave clean sheets. I'm gonna go with, again, avoiding promotion, uh, relegation. He's not happy with that just yet, so I'm going to go for appearance bonuses. And he's happy now. There we go. So, Josh Davidson, 10. And um, if you'll notice some of the players, the ones that I have now on the first team, they're all in bold. Um, that won't always be the case. I'll, I'll show you in a minute if it happens uh, what the bold actually means. We've got Joe Brown in nine. Is Joe Brown in the top team? No. Okay. Right, so let's just see if we can get someone better. Otherwise, we've got Joe Brown to fall back on. But actually, as it stands, we can probably get someone better. I've got this 18-year-old here, Kin Best from Preston. Could possibly get him on loan. Maybe. Yeah, he'd be quite cheap on loan as well. We can have him until the end of the season, perhaps. We'd be playing him on the left. So we need to put that as a Okay, and we're going to accept the man's, and we're going to have Kian Best. Obviously, now the players have to agree to all of this, which doesn't doesn't always mean we get these players because some players be like, "Nah, I don't want to play for this club," etc. Uh, now we're going to tackle the central defenders. Now, even though I made two filters for this, I don't actually use both of them. I just use the one. So we've got. Um, Dave Stevens, Nathan Cameron at 11, and we should have Dwayne at 10, which is true. It doesn't really matter which of these positions we choose. Okay, and now we're going to start looking for other players. Okay, so... Uh, Dwayne Stevens can, Dave Stevens can stay. Uh, actually, let me just check. I always need to check both of them, just in case. So 12 players. Seems to be the same. Okay, so we got, um, potentially get two new players here then. So Reggie Heavens is free from South Hampton. Let's see what he can come to. Oh, he'll come for a non contract. All right. That's good. Let's do that. So, uh, DC, Reggie Evans, eleven. And let's put him on the other side. And actually, Dwayne is going to 
so he's uh, what that means is he's not going to feature in my plans because I can see players that are better than him. Uh, for example, this guy here from Cambridge. Um, it looks like we might be able to loan him. So I'm going to go to the loan zero. Fantastic until the end of the season. And I'm going to not specify which role. Hmm. Okay, they're happy with that. Finalize. All right, so these guys aren't regen yet, right? Not yet, okay. Um, right, okay, next. Defensive midfield. We have Mark at the moment. far behind. Okay. All right. So the youngest guy on here is Joe Hodge, Irish player. He also used to play for Wolves. So let's ask about stuff. Approach a sign. I've already agreed to improve training facilities, sadly, so we're going to do that. And we're going to reduce all of this as much as we can. Um, I'm going to increase that as much as I can. I'm gonna just have to accept that offer just then. Okay, that's fine. Joe Hodge, he's only at 10, so slightly worse than Mark, but it should be fine. Now, midfield, we don't have anyone at the moment for midfield. And the lowest, the, the, the highest youth players are at a seven, which is really low. I'm sure we can do a lot better than that. Okay, it looks like I could get two players on a 13, on a 12 rather. Okay, so we got Kian, Kian Brecken. Used to play for Man City. Um, what? Who are you and what's your deal? Okay, let's say yes to that. I'm going to remove it though from my offer. Hmm. Accept that, sadly. I don't like accepting stuff. I like to bring stuff down. Uh, no, let's leave that. Let's take appearance out. Okay, he seems happy with that. So that's Kyan Brecken 12. And we got Brandon Cover with an A record from our scouts. He used to play for Leicester. Whoops. What have I done? There we go. I'm going to ask his. 
agent because apparently you should always do that. Seems happy with the offer. Got a bunch of clauses here that we're going to try and get rid of. Um, let's leave the season landmark. Let's go for the avoiding relegation. Okay, let's go for the appearance bonus. And he's happy. Okay. Brandon cover. Twelve. Next up, we've got some right wingers to look at right attacking midfielders I mean so at the moment we only have Dillian he's an 11 and no one really behind him so let's try and see what the market has to offer wow hmm interesting so we just got rid of one player who was a 9, and I thought we could do better than that, but apparently we can't. But we can get younger players, so the one that we sold, Herson Alves, he was a 9, but he was 27 years old. It looks like we might be able to get this guy, Rin Hushton. He's also a 9, so not brilliant. Also we have Graham. Um, he's the same age, what's the difference here? October. He's slightly older. He is better though, I think. He's got 18 run jumping reach while this guy only has nines throughout. So maybe. Maybe I'll go for this guy. He's a free transfer as well. Alright, let's see what this guy says. He wants to be a star player, don't we all? Let's see if I can r reduce that. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to accept what he's asking. Sometimes even when you when they reject and they like give you an ultimatum, you can still remove like a thing, but I always am a bit cautious about that. So I'm going to leave the landmarks. I'm going to leave that landmark for now. Because that gives them like an incentive to work towards something that benefits the team. Okay, and I can't do anything else, so I'm going to have to finalize that deal. But it did bring some stuff down. So I've got James. Graham on a 9. But his 9 is teamwork, so we might be able to work on that um, over time. On the left side of attack, we have at the moment two players. I can't actually remember Lloyd's rating. It looks like it's a 10, so let's add that in. Okay. And let's see if we can improve any of that. No. Okay, so they can stick with us. And finally, in the striker position... We have... Missing someone. Oh yeah, Casey. His loan has ended as well, so he's gone. Let's update that. So we've got two players with a rating of 11. So I'm sure we can do better. No? Oh. Okay. Alright, so let's look for young blood. We've got uh, Orlandus Jackass. He's a Lithuanian player playing in Ireland. 
That sounds exciting. Can we loan him? Is this a thing? Uh, oh, he wouldn't have enough points. Okay, never mind. Cancel. Uh, then we got Sony picking, pick up from Burnley, and we have. Hmm, that guy's probably too expensive for us to buy. But anyway, let's try and loan. Pick him. Let's remove that. Okay, we got that one. Sony pick up 11. Now, we've got a few players that are attached to clubs, and I doubt we'll be able to buy them. But let's have a look to see if maybe they are able to do us a loan. No, what sort of price you're looking for? No, I can't do that. able to do nine. What's this player like? Seems alright. Aston Villa. Hmm. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna lower it and I'm gonna remove that to that. Five. Um Fine. Let's just do that. Okay. Right, I've never actually... Have I bought a player before in this save? I'm not sure I have. And then alternatively, we had um, just Nyobi, which I think I played with before. Like in a different save. From Stoke. But he's expensive. He's... He, I believe he would be expensive to get. If we make him an offer, yeah, it'll take all of our not as expensive Dominic apparently. And then we had a, a player here that has played for, with for us before, and uh, he played for one match and one match only, I think. Oh no, he played for seven. I thought he played for less matches. Hmm, never mind. Anyway, he's not having a very good time, so we're not going to even consider him. And the next thing left to do is just to go back to our. Here to the squad and look through all the players that we need to renew contracts with. So we're looking at players out of contract, so that doesn't include that Daniel Lloyd. And we're looking for all the players that actually receive a wage. Mm. There we go. Um, so we're looking for these four. So Dan Stevens, he's gonna stay. We need to offer him him a new contract. And I, again, I follow the same um, method of trying to reduce it as much as possible. And to be honest, most players are quite happy to compromise, especially if they already play for you. There we go. Uh, he's also staying. He's actually going to downgrade to a non-contract. Wow. That's not usual. Is it? I got Zen Mohammed. Who wants to be a star player. He's settled for a regular starter. Settle for a lot less than uh, than initially he asked for. Another player that's going to go on to non-contract, which makes me think I probably should go and have a look at the other players. Um, so the, these Nathan and Rayon are going to move to non-contracts. 
makes me think I should probably look at these to see if any of them want to upgrade to actual contracts. So let's do that. Uh, he's going to stay as an ARES. Yeah, goalkeeper. So he's, he wants to upgrade to an actual contract. Which is kind of good in a way. It gives you the security that they aren't going to go anywhere. But it does make it harder for, harder for you to get rid of them them if you ever want to get rid of them. The only one I'm not going to renew the contract of is Dwayne because we're thinking about replacing him. Okay, he's still going to stick around as an animal contract. stick around as a non-contract. So you can kind of see it's a bit of a mixed bag with players going either direction. It might have something to do with the level, um, like the squad status that you give them as well. French player. No, he wants to stick down as a squad player. recently offered a contract to this guy but let's offer it again it's just to see if anything's changed yeah he's a non-contract guy and finally mark again as i said i'm not going to offer a contract to Dwayne because we're thinking about releasing him so that would be counterproductive you you would just get stuck with us all right okay so now we just have to wait and see if any of these come back with more um accept exceptions i mean ex acceptances okay so we now have the contract for the player we uh trying to secure as a strike. I'm going to give him a youth contract, which means I can get him for a non-contract usually. It might put him in a youth team once we do get him, but we can always move him across. And now we're going to reject the long back because we actually want to play him. And that's it. That's you know, all we do in, as far as transfers. I'm not going to make this episode any longer, but if you're curious to see how we source players, then this is how I do it. Uh, so I'll come back again for the start of the season. So once we have finalized all the transfers, probably a lot of the players that you've seen today are going to be in a squad. It doesn't mean that all of them will though, because inevitably some of them are going to, um, are going to reject our offers. And in the meantime, I will make the staff better as well. And I'll show you all in the next episode how it's gone. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out the Patreon. And you can add your name to a new gen now. I'll go and check that out as well. Um, it's all in the description. It's all in those links there. Anyway, thanks. take care. And I'll see you next one. Bye.